Agroforestry is a way of farming or land management that intentionally uses trees and other elements of a forest to benefit crops, farmers, and the land. Agroforestry has been practiced throughout the world for millennia. In this video, we will discuss how agroforestry using breadfruit, or ulu, as the primary canopy crop in multi-story cropping systems was traditionally used in Hawaii. We'll also explore the benefits this type of forest farming continues to offer the islands today. Agroforestry refers to the intentional integration of trees and shrubs with crop and animal farming systems to create environmental, economic, and social benefits through holistic resource management. The long-term goal of agroforestry is to manage land for productivity of the different canopy levels, promote biological diversity, and increase resilience within the system. Benefits of traditional agroforestry systems included increased production on a per acre basis and sustainability across many different environments. Traditional cultivation of ulu in Hawaii and across the Pacific was primarily done using agroforestry practices. Here in Hawaii, one famous breadfruit agroforestry system stretched across nine square miles in South Kona, Hawaii Island, known as the Kalu Ulu. The use of agroforestry allowed for extensive cultivation on the young, rocky landscape that would not support other staple crops. So as part of this larger Kona field system, there existed a small band of ecology where um, it wasn't quite good enough for Kalo yet, um, but it was wet enough and consistent enough to do good agriculture. So in this, this belt across the landscape is where they developed the Kalo Ulu. Um, I've also heard it called Kaulu Ulu, or the, the breadfruit grove, essentially, is what that means. While we emphasize breadfruit in this area, of course they grew a whole range of other crops along with breadfruit. So things like maia, bananas, uhi or yams, uh, tea leaf, ava, noni, all of these crops kind of composed a, a diverse orchard or a diverse forest uh, of food crops and resource crops. The use of trees not only provided food and resources, but allowed for the cultivation of other crops by altering the habitat, essentially improving it for human cultivation. For example, increased shade allowed for high quality vauke to be grown for cloth, and the leaf litter from the trees was gathered into pits where kalo and uhi could be grown. Mala Kalu Ulu Farm is continuing the traditional cultivation practices used in the Kalu Ulu today by cultivating an Ulu overstory with multiple crop layers underneath. Here, the midstory is dominantly made up of banana and mamaki, while ground covers like Kalo and Olena are grown below. While the system is productive and requires little inputs or weed management, the tall breadfruit trees make for difficult harvesting, and the non-uniform plantings mean that mechanization is not feasible. This reduces efficiency of harvesting, which can result in lower production volumes on a per-crop basis. One Village Farm currently employs a well-diversified, multi-story cropping method in North Kohala on Hawaii Island. Ulu is a big part of their system, acting as both a top-story and a mid-story crop. Other crops include Gloricidia, Sweet Potato, and Roselle Hibiscus. So the benefits of doing this multi-storied approach is you have lots of options and you're growing all of your, your mulch and fertility in the same place as you're growing your food. 
And so as you can see behind me, we have this kukui nut tree, which I've planted for a support tree in the system. And it is performing the function of blocking the wind. And it's creating a nice uh, shady microclimate for the plants in the understory that need it. But it was starting to get a little too uh, branchy over in this direction. And so I was able to cut it back, opening up sun on this chupa chupa fruit tree. I can cut them back to get them to the stratas that I want and to create the right microclimate that I want. And then we also have multiple yields through time. So say this, if this was all planted in breadfruit, the breadfruit might take like three to five years to produce. But I've already cropped um, taro, cassava, sweet potato, a few rounds of turmeric, lots of greens and veggies in the understory. So I've already received so much from this system before the ulus have even been able to produce. I would recommend this type of agroforestry systems to farmers just because of the minimal labor input. You know, I'm one person taking care of around 20 acres. There's a bit more investment up front and the actual install and the planting requires quite a bit of mental work and understanding of the plants that you're using. But once it takes off, it's pretty minimal and it's mostly harvesting. Learn more and find tips for implementing or managing multi-story agroforestry systems in our Agroforestry Guide online. Hawaii Ulu Cooperative, farmer-owned, Ina Grown.